Hello guys, welcome to Tech with Raven and in this video we will see the top 5 main features in Windows 11. Let's get started. Here brings us the awesome feature number 1 and this feature name is Dictation with Auto Punctuation. In the past Windows 10 we had Dictation tool but we didn't have Auto Punctuation. So to enable Dictation tool we just need to click Windows logo plus H key. And this would bring a new dictation with auto punctuation tool. To enable auto punctuation, just click on the settings there. And as you can see here, auto punctuation, just click, just turn it on. And then, uh, and I'll go on by clicking this microphone to start listening of whatever we speak. Hello there, how are you? As you can see uh, here comes a period and here comes a question mark also. Uh, when you try this in Windows 10 you don't have a feature like this but in the new Windows 11 we have a feature like dictation with auto punctuation. This brings us to the awesome feature number 2. You can now create multiple desktops and customize them. You just need to move your cursor on this icon and you just need to click the plus icon to create a new desktop as you can see we created a new desktop you can also click you can also right click on this desktop to customize them for example i can change the background uh, and in this i'll just choose the win this theme for the desktop too as you can see I made this theme for the desktop too and you can also rename by clicking on this and for example I'll just name this as entertainment you can also make more fun by adding windows key plus semicolon to add some emojis like this you can also switch your desktop by moving like this as you can see I'm in entertainment desktop and you can come to our desktop also. You can also switch your desktop by clicking control windows plus arrow key. As you can see I can shift my desktop very easily now. Here comes the next awesome feature to windows mapping. When you have so many tabs open like this uh, and, you, uh, and you find it hard to segregate them just power your mouse or to, to the maximize windows and click like which one you need. I'll I'll just prefer this one for this tab and when you and I'll just go for this over here and I'll just click for this to do so so you can work easily with multiple tabs open here and this feature is not in Windows 10 and, and this came newly in Windows 11 this is very helpful to many people also here comes the next awesome feature called widgets you may have here widgets in the previous version of windows 7 but now they have added it in windows 11 also so to see widgets menu you just need to move a cursor in the taskbar and click the widgets icon here and you can see many many widgets over here you can also customize them by clicking over here and you can customize widgets by search for location or city, searches of parameters, etc. And you can also make them by uh, making them small, medium or large. And even in calendar and you can do it in everything. You can also add widgets or remove them. For example, uh, if I don't need this post to be shown over here, I can just click over here and remove widgets. And remove widgets uh, remove and in case if you need them right back you just need to click or add widgets and you need to click this plus icon here so that it would be added in the widgets menu and you can also see some uh, news in this widgets menu also but one con about is that you can't bring this widgets to the desktop uh, so this is the only disadvantage in this here comes the final awesome windows feature called secret start menu many of you have noticed this start menu and when you left click on this you will just see the pinned apps and recommended apps but instead of doing this when you 
right click on this you can see many options like starting from apps and features to windows terminal and you can also see some additional features like task manager settings file explorer etc and this helps you to navigate to the required things faster so that's all guys thank you for watching my video and kindly hit the like and subscribe button